Bad man, bad man. Blow jobs for everyone. <laughs> Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Star Lords, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video for a yet another Marvel Collector Corpse. Of course, you guys know I love Marvel and I love getting these Collector Corpse boxes. They're so awesome. But there is something especially amazing about this week's or this month's box, and that is Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Blowjobs for everyone. I, I don't know, but um, yeah, Spider-Man, of course, now Spider-Man has joined the MCU. If you guys don't know what that means, then you probably don't really pay attention to superhero movies and who owns who and stuff. But eventually, you know, we knew we was going to get Spider-Man back at Disney. And now we are shared between Sony and Disney, so that means no more shitty Spider-Man movies. Hopefully. And yeah, only awesome ones in which Marvel or, you know, Marvel Studios, actually have a bit of say in the storyline, what happens next, and the future. So, yeah, pretty awesome. But, guys, let's get into this once unboxing. Okay, so, of course, you guys saw that the box art looks pretty cool. I am very happy with that. Just simple, you know, just simple Spidey. And, um, if we open up now, as I thought, we have a pin and a badge and eventually these will go on to my son's jackets one is an iron-on patch this one right here and the other one is a pin and that just has the spider logo on there so i will hopefully try and focus this in for you now guys i'm really sorry if it doesn't i'm trying my best of course you probably have noticed if you do watch my videos regularly that my setup has kind of changed and that's because i've changed my whole house around a little bit and this is what you will see from now on but the wall in the back of me will not be so blank I will have my 100,000 subscriber plaque on there I also will have a signed picture of Michael Douglas and Paul Rudd the Ant-Man poster so that's pretty cool and a lot more stuff like my other Funko Pops which come to around about $500 or about £460 which is just crazy so let's move on Right here to the comic book. You guys know we get comic books in this. And it is the Amazing Spider-Man Variant Edition. Funko Pop Variant Edition. And it is the Amazing Spider-Man 16. And yeah, I love this very much. It just captures Spidey's personality and his kind of poses. Not personality, I guess, but just poses in general. He's mostly always on the walls waiting for something to happen. And yeah, that's what he's doing right now. And I don't know whether it's the organic web kind of webbing in The Amazing Spider-Man, or it's the, you know, the web shooters, I'm not too sure about that. If you guys know, then please tell me, because I do not catch up with The Amazing Spider-Man issues, I really don't, but it will be pretty nice to read that, and hopefully it may get me back into them. Okay, moving on to the next item, we have a Spider-Man Fabrications. Fabrications, okay, Spider-Man Fabrications, and I love that box art, damn. That looks pretty good. I mean, if you look at it, you can see that they had the initial designs there and stuff like that. And um, it's pretty hefty, actually. That's leather. That's real tight leather. That's so good. I mean, the head is fabric. Normally, these kind of things smell. I'm not just some kind of weirdo who goes around sniffing, sniffing things like that. But no, it doesn't smell. I was hoping maybe some kind of strawberry. Um, my son will love that. He will love that very much. I know he will. Uh, that can eventually go at the back, hanging or something like that. But that's pretty good. You can you can really see and feel the quality in that item. So I'm pretty happy about that. Moving on, we have something a little bit different here. We actually have a Amazing Spider-Man snapback. And I'm not really one for wearing snapbacks, but this looks pretty good. I really like it. It's got the little uh, pop logo. At the very back there, we have the Spider-Man a logo and obviously there we have pop marvel which is really cool but i love the colors more than anything two of my favorite kind of colors here it's got the like kind of dark navy blue and it's mixed in with the gray which just looks amazing anyway and then the red complements them so it does look pretty good it doesn't mismatch or anything like that uh, so yeah let's say uh, let's put that on let's mm, that and let's put that on so uh yeah, you guys probably may have noticed too, if you do watch me regularly, that I have had my hair cut and it's kind of hard to adjust to it, I've got to admit. But what do I look like, guys? Do I look like one of the cool kids these days? 
doing that stiff stuff and I don't fucking know what you kids do these days. I'm only 23 and I act like I'm 50. Get off my lawn, kids! Okay, moving on to the creme de la creme, we have the Funko Pop. And this is a Spider-Man one in which looks pretty good. He's actually, he's actually floating. They have the little floating stand, which I really, really love these. These are pretty awesome. I am very happy that they've included that. As you know, it has his kind of signature pose as he's in, in the sky, you know, in the, uh, in the air, about to shoot his web. That looks pretty cool. I am very happy with that, and of course it is the new design from the new ones, but he doesn't have his web slingers there. So is it the new design? It looks like the new design. I don't know. Huh, okay, he doesn't have his web slingers, which kind of make me think that maybe it's just the amazing Spider-Man. Um, but yeah, let's take it out of the box. I know some of you guys really hate this kind of stuff, but I do have a kind of thing, you know, we're on this earth for the blink of an eye, why keep something so precious and so nice, something that you cherish in a box, you know? You may as well get it out, admire it every now and then, pick it up and say, damn, that looks amazing. But I do take very special care of them and the boxes, just in case eventually I want to give these away. Uh, but yeah, that looks pretty amazing. It's not really tight-fitted there, actually. I'm not really happy about that, but uh, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm sorry if you cannot. I will fix my whole set up eventually guys don't worry but uh, that looks pretty good i'm very happy with that indeed and it does stand perfect okay so of course the last item we have is them advertising the next month's crate which is doctor strange i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna get it yet i do love doctor strange uh so i'm probably gonna get him but you know and of course there is an overview of everything in this august box but yeah, fuck it. But um, yeah, I'm eventually going to have all of these boxes kind of stacked up here to the sides. Eventually, the camera will change. Uh, but anyway, guys, tell me what you think about this month's box. I mean, w I think these are pretty quality stuff, to be honest. These are probably my happiest uh, subscription boxes. I'm pretty happy with these every month, without a doubt. Um, there was only like one or two where I kind of felt it was a bit un underwhelming, I guess. But other than that, it looked pretty good. I've still got the snap back on. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I will wear that eventually. But uh, yeah, guys, tell me what you think. And I hope you are all having an amazing, amazing, yeah, amazing, amazing day. And uh, I hope that you have an amazing week. And thank you all for watching. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Uh, see ya.